But the business success actually is not, not the really beautiful thing here. Because I left the, my business career years ago, and I've never looked back. That's not the beautiful thing. The beautiful thing is what's happened in my life, my quality of life, where now I know who I am, and, and I know who every person is that I meet. That, that, that's the amazing thing. Now, I just want to say one other thing about this moment, just so I leave a, a, a balanced impression. That everything didn't get dreamy for me after I went through this process, this, this transformation. Uh, and I'll just share one example. There was one of our most senior level people in the company. Uh, I confided in and, and shared, you know, that this is all God helping us and guiding us and supporting us. And, and I thought we were really connected. But then came to find out later that he thought I'd lost my mind. And, uh, and actually started doing some things that were pretty, that, that were going to sabotage the company. So I went through a really, really difficult uh, phase with that. And there, and there were other things too. The third moment in my life that I want to share was 10 years later. Interesting, these came every 10 years. And this third one was in November 2004. And you can probably, you may, maybe you can see a scar on my neck here. And uh, in November 2004, I woke up at Stanford Hospital in California from surgery. And I just had a huge, uh, not a small, a huge tumor out. One of the senior doctors that I saw said that only once a year does somebody come in that has a tumor that's, that's that big. And when I woke up from the surgery, I'd lost all of my facial nerves, including my blinking. And my nose channel was bent like that. Some people here saw me about two weeks later and, and know what I looked like. And I, I had this, my, my faith was just really tested. There, there was this tug of war going on. On one side, I was a victim, and uh, things were being done to me. And on the other side was my faith of I'm not a victim. I'm a victor. There, there's something, this is happening for a reason. And this is happening through me. Somehow I created this. But I, I must be honest. I struggled. I struggled so much, you wouldn't believe what this was like for me. I remember I went into a store when this was going on and my face was just completely, uh, the asymmetry was so huge and, and all of the nerve function gone. And I remember a woman looking at me, just being honest, in the store, and she said, oh my God, oh my God, what happened to you? And that's where I got my first gift. And, and the gift was the people with disabilities, they're here to give us courage. They're here to give us courage. And now whenever I see a person with a disability, I do not pity these people. I say thank you because they give me courage. And, and then the other great gift that I got out of this was that I worked with a medical intuitive who, uh, who was very gifted and to, to understand how did this happen? Why did this happen to me? You know, here I'm giving myself to God's work and, and, I, and this happened to me. And she analyzed my chakra system and what she could see is that that fifth and sixth chakra, which is our communications energy area, she said, Steve, you're like a cork in a bottle of wine. It's right here. Your energy center is all blocked right there. That's what caused your tumor. She said, there, there's something in your life that you haven't been telling your truth about as fully as your soul wants to tell 
qué quiere ser dicho. And I knew immediately what she was talking about. Me di de lo que that I, while in my business and in my home life, etc., I was really developing uh, this beautiful relationship with God, and that I talked about, I was also communicating with other chief executives and, and business leaders in the valley, and I, it, it's not an area where it's easy to really talk about God in you, and I wasn't communicating my truth as fully as I could, and I, and I knew at that point that I was going to have to move my family, my wife, and our two young kids, even though my wife had lived in California her whole life and her parents lived right near us with our kids. So that then brought us to, brought me to my fourth moment. And that was just last year. This was in February last year. And I had decided with Stephanie, my wife, that, that we were going to move to Colorado. And this was uh, and we, we sold our home in California, and, and in May, a new, uh, the owners were going to come in. And there was the world tour last year in April. So this was my last trip to Colorado, two and a half days, to find a home that I could put my family in. And so that Thursday evening, Stephanie and I flew out to Denver, and together with my family and my humanities team friends and other friends, we, we pray that the perfect home is manifesting for you. We found a home in Colorado that we loved, but that we had to, so that we could afford it, we had to offer a very low price. And didn't hear back from the seller. So four hours before our flight back to California on Sunday, I was in a lease home with my wife. We had their contracts there on the table. The guy leasing the home was standing next to me. I had a lease contract and we were both, we had our pens in our hand, honestly. Pens in our hand, we were signing the contract. And Stephanie's cell phone rang. And it was our realtor. And he said the offer was accepted on your, on your home. So we got our home. And it's this beautiful incredible home that is so perfect for my family and so perfect for me and the humanities teamwork that I do where we're reaching out to the community and it, it, uh, this, this illustrates for me how this has worked where I have to God said I am yours my life is your life which is of course all of earth all of humanity and all of life. I, will, I am serving you. And then the universe in turn says, and I am serving you. And so what needs you have are yours. Anything that you need, you'll receive. And, and this is what happened here in this particular incident. Okay, I, I want to uh, now segue and, and talk uh, about the collective leap of faith. Right now, I'm mostly talking about my personal leap of faith. And I, I want to start out by uh, just telling you briefly about Humanities Team. We are a global, grassroots spiritual movement that is awakening the world of oneness to create a new earth with all of the beautiful things that can be a part of this new world. Love and, and relationships that are deep and, and a compassionate and sustainable world. All of these things. And we see that when we awaken to oneness, that we open to our spiritual birth certificate, if you will. In my mind, our true birth certificate. The only important birth certificate that, that shows that that we are all one, we're part of the body of God, that we are love, God's essence is love, we're a part of God, so our nature is love. And third, that where we open ourselves to the wisdom in the body of God, that all of the inspiration and guidance and support and nurturing, all of what we need comes to us if we open ourselves.